There is a theory that we all come from Africa. Latin America, beautiful lands with exotic landscapes, rich culture, deep history, and diverse people. We were taught that the Spanish discovered the Americas, arriving to the lands of the Caribbean, Central, and South America to civilize the natives living there and that all Latinos are the descendants of those explorers. We were not taught that during this colonization, Europeans forcefully took the land, killed the indigenous people, raped the women, and left many societies extinct. We were not taught that our people were brutally conquered and our rich resources stolen from us. This is the true story of how Latinos were born. The story doesn't end there. After most of the natives were murdered, the Spaniards needed manpower to build Latin America. Here's where our story begins. Over 15 million enslaved African men and women were brought to what we know as South and Central America and the Caribbean. This documentary rewrites the history taught to us in textbooks and the contributions of African descendants in Spanish-speaking countries. Also included is Brazil and Haiti, two very important nations that are a part of Latin culture. This television program covers themes from the transatlantic slave trade to social issues affecting these communities today. Afro-Latinos, the untaught story. This documentary series will take you on a journey throughout Latin America from Mexico to Argentina, educating us on the history of Afro-Latinos. In Chile, it's like the culture of negros is like nothing. It's like there's no information, no se cuenta nada, nunca se sabe nada ya. Uch, hay morenos en Guatemala, es increíble. Las fiestas están impregnadas de una herencia africana viva. Los carnavales, la música, el colorido de los trajes, y en el sistema de creencias. The second part of the series covers faith, the many religious practices and beliefs of African descendants and how they are a part of Latino culture now. The movement of Rastafari born Yaso in Colón City of the Republic of Panama. The third part explores the rhythms of Latin America. The next segment introduces the origins and significance of Afro-Latino dance. We then taste the traditional flavors of Latin dishes of African origin. And a very important part of this documentary is the identity of the Afro-Latino, from the United States to Argentina, where we interview people who tell us how they perceive themselves. Pues históricamente, el haitiano es el africano, nosotros somos los blancos. Entonces, ahí existe Esa negación de lo que somos en el sentido de las raíces africanas y culturalmente los dominicanos tenemos una gran influencia africana. Es lindo saber cuál es la raíz de uno y que no sientan vergüenza de ser garífuna. One of the most imperative parts of this documentary is the social issue section that addresses what Afro-Latinos are going through still today. Queremos apoyo para las viviendas. Las láminas, los pisos, todo eso. ¿Y cómo hacen para plata, para comer lo básico? Ah, yo lavo ropa de la calle. Yo lavo ropita de la calle. Y cuando me pagan, ahí es que se compra la comida. O cuando el hijo me da pan, 
Él está como trabaja en el carro, cuando él me da, cuando él no me da, no tenemos que comer. The last part of this television series ends with solutions. What can we do to help them improve their living conditions and how are Afro-Latino communities empowering themselves? De que si los blancos mestizos no nos dan la oportunidad, nosotros debemos ganarla. ¿Y cómo la vamos a ganar? En primer lugar es co competir. Y la competibilidad se da con la capacitación, porque de nada vale nosotros vivir quejándonos, quejándonos, que nos, nos falta esto. Y si no ponemos de nuestra parte, nuestra capacidad creativa en formular una fuente de trabajo o una fuente de creación, nosotros nunca vamos a avanzar. Never has a documentary covered the entire spectrum of Afro-Latino culture. Afro Latino, this is it. The wickedest documentary for me, make me entry for the whole century. It's about time we give Afro Latinos a voice, unravel the truth, and teach the stories never taught to us.